Just that guy. Can stay home, that's fair. They don't really like you bringing your um your other GDQ badges, I don't think. Uh, just for badge checking. They want it to be easy to tell which one you've got on and which is the right one and all that, I guess. But... Yeah. I've never done any of the uh, volunteering stuff on on site for them, which is surprising. I'm, I feel like I would enjoy doing that because it'd be like a nice uh, something to keep me busy. But I also, I think the main reason I've never done that is you have to show up a little bit earlier usually. I mean, I'm, I'm sure someone can train you on a different day if you don't show up on the... Well, this is a mess. If you don't show up on the correct time. Uh, like the, if you don't show up a few days before. Yeah, I'm at like seven or eight badges at this point. So... Like the OG badges where you actually wrote in Sharpie the person's name on it instead of having individual ones for every person. I only have one, like all the badges except for one that I have has like the, the new lanyards they have where it's like actually a real lanyard and not like some cord or something really cheap. I have no clue how that explosive enemy aggroed on me from through that glass. Usually they're just distracted looking at the infinite void, but... Not a good layout. And I bumped into everything on the way there. Yeah, we saved we saved time. I'm just kinda surprised. What if I should do some Yana runs today? Kinda considering it. Might be a fun thing to do. Ready to, to meet up with everybody and, and hang out finally. It's been a little bit. I think once I'm working, I'm not gonna... The opposite of party, sleeping lots. Great. That's what I always wanted. I honestly think this room situation works out best for, for both parties involved. It's like, I was always, like, wanting to sleep, and they were always wanting to have our room be kind of the party room, which is perfectly fine. It's just a difference in, uh... Not exp I guess, the difference in expectations, I guess. Um, and I felt like I was encroaching if I were to say, hey, I'm kind of out for the night. Um, is it okay if the party moves to somewhere else? Like, kind of a buzzkill. I mean, it's our, it's partially my room, so like, that's a perfectly fine thing to say, but it's kind of like, you know. Thankfully, my roommates were like the best about that and making sure that we were communicating about if I wanted to fucking sleep or something. Uh, put a dollar in the swear jar. <laughs> anyways, um, but anyways, what was I saying? But yeah, so I'm in a different room this time, uh, so I'll be able to sleep whenever, <laughs> probably. That's fair. I just wanted wanted to be like. Even if I could, I wouldn't want to, like, sleep in the middle of people partying and... Obviously there were situations where, like, somebody would spill something on the bed and there would just be... The bed sheets would be ruined and we had to get some new ones and it would be at late at night, so... Not exactly the best time for room service. I think room service always was, like, in our room, like, once the entire week. And we would just bring out the massive towels we had and all this other stuff, and they would probably look at us like we're crazy, which is reasonable. But last GDQ, we had a, um... We had a room that was on, like, the bottom floor, right next to the pool, like, literally right outside the pool. Um... Which was really cool. I didn't end up actually popping in the pool, which was kind of a regret. Um, I didn't think that we... I forgot that we were actually getting a poolside room or I would have just brought something to actually go into the pool with, but anyways. Um, I 
I think the major downside of that is, or it depends on who you are. The major downside of that was the Banjo Kazooie room was um, probably like, I think it was either next door or like a couple doors down. And if you've ever been to a GDQ before, you know the Banjo Kazooie room is um, the one of the crazier party rooms. Probably pretty much the crazy party room. Yeah, the Banjo Crew does not stop. Banjo Crew is a little wild. Um, any stories you heard, probably true. Like, you could probably make up a story and it probably would also be true anyway, so. But yeah, so. Which I don't, I mean, that's fine as well. I feel like pretty much everyone that got a room around the Banjo-Kazooie people was heavily aware of the fact that, hey, like, you're gonna be... They, they either intentionally, like, got the room right next to them because they understood that, or, like, it, it was... In, by the first day or two, there was a very clear understanding that, like, hey... Um, yeah, they're gonna party a whole bunch. But yeah, I think most of the time once we get out of the hotels, uh, once we're, like, when we get into a contract with a new hotel, they're usually not super happy with us the first time we're there. I feel like the place we had in, uh, Virginia was probably the place that was most cool with us, with just, like, us being there and all that and being, like, kind of playing along with things and being pretty accommodating. I think they were probably the best group for that. But uh, we outgrew them, um, which is why we're in Florida now. I regret not being able to drive like less than an hour and just get to the marathon. So don't even get a room, don't get a flight or anything. Just drive there, hang out for however long. Oh, I'm stupid. I forgot to hold uh, triggers and to uh, skip the cutscene because I was too busy telling stories and talking about GDQ. Yeah, I might do a, a yawn run after this one. Might be fun to do. Maybe I can get a PB with Yano right before the end of the year. Universal Studios doesn't seem like a bad choice for a day. I've not really looked around the area where the hotel is and figured out like what sort of stuff I want to go to. Other than like kind of the obvious big stuff, but even that, I'm kind of... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where I end up going. I really didn't lose that much time to not skipping the cutscene, so I mean, it could be worse. Well, I guess I'm just going to miss that guy. I mean, he backed off the window and died anyway, so like... All's well that ends well, I guess, but... That's kind of a mess. Anyways, I meant to grab one of those small enemies and throw it into the other guy. One of those small boys. That was brutal and completely unnecessary. Pretty much any time I throw somebody out a window, it's brutal and completely unnecessary, but funny anyways. Yeah, I'm still not sure about, uh... If I'm gonna be at next GDQ, I don't know if I'm gonna be at SGDQ. Um, so I have to figure that out. I mean, it'll be very much based on my work situation. Be nice to. Um, I'll, I'll probably know February, March, if that would be cool with them if I went. I don't know all their policies and stuff yet, but I'll at least know in enough time where I'd be able to submit to it. And even if I submit to it and I could only go for a few days, like that'd be all right with me. Honestly, if you going to GDQ for a few days is probably like best case scenario for me. That's what I would enjoy the most. Oh yeah, the um, wait, where's the exit? Where's the uh, not the exit, but the um. Where's the bridge? I looked down there for it and I didn't see it. Where is it? 
Show me the bridge. Oh, okay. I got baited. And now I'm gonna get shot a whole bunch because I had my hand off the controller. I didn't even realize actually this was a level that we were on. I just wanted to take an extra couple shots of damage just to make things exciting. Yeah, I wonder if they're gonna keep it at a uh, in Florida for the future. If they're still playing around with which place to go to. Don't think I'd want to be the uh, pe person or group of people that's kind of tasked with figuring out what place to take GDQ to. I feel like that's probably a mess to call up places and be like, so like, what if we just liked a big event at your hotel? That'd be cool. Because the first part of that is just looking for places that even fit the criteria, like near a massive enough airport. Large enough size to deal with it. Um, you know. Available at the time you want it to be at. I'm not even, I'm sure there's even more stuff that goes into it that I'm not even thinking of. Please don't shoot me. Why? The door's closed. That's, that's a uh, no thanks from me. It's about as close as that could have been. I saw him there, but like, it wasn't... I didn't think I was in danger of getting shot by him. Oh well. Uh, it seems like it. Just with how they're, um... With how they've been, with, with what hotels they've been choosing, I guess that would make sense. Really, I'm gonna take a shot here because I, uh, my arm went through that man's chest. Eh, uh, wow, that was very forgiving of that guy not to hit me for some reason. Even though he just watched me kill a bunch of people right in front of him. Very brutal, but very fair. I guess that would limit the choices you have, so that might be better for them. I mean, it doesn't really limit choices. There's probably a decent amount of those. And I mean, I would get just, like, even if you're not partnering with them, but like staying with like roughly the same chain because you're used to how that operates and it's not new ground like you want to minimize like if you're moving to a new place that you want to minimize the amount of new stuff you have to deal with and all that so i get that not a surprise forgot that i had that time save there that's nice how kind of me to give myself that time save the worst part about that cutscene skip that I missed is that I didn't die either, so like it wasn't like, oh, I didn't get the cutscene skip, but because I died, that run would have died. It seems like the game crashed, or has been crashing less on this album, which is kind of nice. Also didn't get hit there, which improves our chances a whole bunch. I don't know what that guy hit, but that was interesting. Nice. That's easy. Probably should have even let that- well, if I let that guy live, that would have been really bad. In the moment, I thought I should have let him live, because he would have... Um, shot me. Which would have been kind of nice, but... Looking at it after the fact, probably better he didn't. One bad thing about 
A new water bottle is it takes like 20 30 seconds to like open and close. It's not good for speed running. That is not fast. That is not optimal water bottle opening. The first album though was like actually like a kind of bad situation there. <laughs> I I mean I had full health, so I probably could have just taken the hit and gone and judging by the fact that I lost time I probably should have. That's the thing with the, these first couple levels for uh the third album. I don't know if the game ever calls it albums or if just because they have album pa like pictures, I always call them albums. I and mean, they're called discs in the game, but whatever, man. Who cares? Nobody's gonna like be like Squeezy Gator. I do have one of those. Those leak a lot though, and I really... I'm sure I've had that once on stream where I've brought one of those and I've like completely just gushed it like all over my shirt. Not a good look. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to avoid that if we can. At least the one I have is just, I mean, they're not meant to be clean. They're not meant to, like, give you just the precise amount of water you want. But they give you water. I think all the, the one or two we have are just, like, actually, we probably trashed them because they, they, they got so bad with the caps and just gushing out water where you don't want it to, like, the, the unintended places of water to come out of for a water bottle, which is anywhere but the, the the tip of it, I guess. Anything but the squeezy part. We'll see, we'll see how things pan out in 2020, but I was thinking about the fact that Oblivion was a lot of fun to run and that I might want to, because I think there is a new tutorial for it. Uh, there's at least a new tutorial for the tutorial section of that game, which gave me the most problems, so... Um, I might... I might try to get back into doing Elder Scrolls Oblivion speedruns. Because that was... One of my, my favorite games to run, and I was pretty decent at it. It was pretty okay. I could definitely do that some more. Don't like water? That's fair. All right. I like... I'm probably more okay with water than your, your average person is. Like... We had, um... We met for uh, lunch for... Uh, for for Christmas Day, um, and I was just going. I probably went through like five glasses of water. Like not even like trying to like stay like telling myself like oh I need to drink more water. Let me drink more water. It was just idly knowing that I probably needed more. Wow, that was unfortunate. Um, I probably needed more and just like not even thinking about it. It's just like water's pretty cool. Yeah, by the nine divines, assault. That was not who I thought was going to hit me. That was interesting. That's unfortunate because that was my last time save of the run and I died on it. And I could hit again. That'd be nice. Stop, criminal scum. You violated the law. Pay the court a fine and serve your or or serve your sentence. No, you don't pay the court a fine and serve your sentence. That'd be kind of whack. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. Whatever, man. I'm just going for it. None of them hit me. They didn't give me a speed boost. Shout out to Skuma for existing, um, making those games great.
I do like the videos of people um, impersonating. Just like the weird like idiosyncrasies of, of like the Skyrim and Oblivion NPCs and just how they walk weirdly and the things they say. Just I don't know I think it's just called Sky or Oblivion in Oblivion in real life or Skyrim in real life or Elder Scrolls in real life or something like that. There's like short videos of them doing dumb things. Doing dumb things very well though. That seems I thought you were dead! You were standing in the middle of the fire. And the only thing you were thinking about was, man, I gotta kill that ape. Very rude. I was gonna get a skooma shirt at some point. I think that would be kind of fun. It's just a thing you gotta have. I prefer the very nondescript shirts where they are very normal looking unless you um or they're they're not weird if you don't understand the reference on them for stuff like that. I don't like the stuff where it's like this is a quirky gamer shirt cuz I am a quirky gamer. That's what I should do for a stream is just like Look at look for the worst gaming t-shirt that exists. Just spend two hours just looking through like Redbubble and all those other lovely just look through Etsy. Look through everything. Just look for terrible terrible gamer slogan shirts. We'll create a tier list of them. There we go. Thank you for not putting a bomb in the bad choice or bad place. Whoops. <laughs> Design your own mer Ah, there you go. That's fair. I've got a professional here to, to do it for me. So. But Skuma, Skuma just made that game so much of a sp fun speed run. Like, not even kidding at all. How are you doing, Dave, by the way? Didn't even say hi to you. That's so rude. That was very mean of me. Hope you're doing well. Hope everything is going great. We're just doing some ape out. Technically, I can get sub uh, 30 on this run. You didn't see how. You did? That's fair. That's all right. Got mod for oblivion. If you drink 500 one time, you can jump. Oh, if you got a mod for it. They say you got mod for it. I'm like, oh, I didn't even know you speed on oblivion. I don't know how you got stat, or not stat for it, but moderator for it. Get your first Instagram commission? Nice. What do they want you to, to do without without giving away too many details of this top secret thing? Obviously they're the speedrunner. Speedrunner's Instagram. They want you to, to edit photos for them and and touch it up and make them look like they're going fast when they're actually not. And that's called splicing actually, but that's okay. Hey, if you want to splice my runs, you go for it. And it's just, you know. Don't make me go too fast. Like second place. That's all we need. Easy. <laughs> it would be people would be suspicious. But if it's second place, they're like, oh man, that, that sounds like something bullets could actually be. Maybe third third place is probably more reasonable. Second place, they get a little bit suspicious. First place, they're like, nah. They don't even look at the run, they just deny it anyways. They're just like there's zero way by. A board game creator person. Gone to details. Nice! That sounds cool, though. That's the kind of thing you'd want to get on as, like, someone designing, like, a board game or some sort of game, just in general, like a video game. That would be the sort of thing you'd want to, to get in on and do a lot of work for them. That'd be cool. Really happy for you. Always enjoy hearing that people are keeping you busy with stuff and all that. You deserve lots of good work and commissions for what you do. I'm just jamming to the, the drums at this point. <laughs> this is less about the speedrun and more about the, the tunes the game is playing for me. Yeet! 
Why do you back up and shoot at me? You, this is a behavior you've never done until like the last couple of runs. They've they've obviously updated the game and made it worse. Yeah, you can always offer and be like, hey, I can do lots of stuff, and since I'm already familiar with what you want to work on, then it's always an option. No way! That is garbage. I disagree a thousand percent with that. I have no clue how I got unstunned so quickly. I threw a dude at him and then ran through the exit door, and as I was already past the exit door, he somehow turned around and made the shot of his life. That's really unfortunate. I would have been very close to getting... Well, I would have had a good chance of getting sub-30 then. How's Christmas? Pretty good. Better than how this run's going. Um, I don't know. I mean, that, I should... Because of that death, I probably lost a minute. I would imagine. I guess I lost a little bit less than a minute. As long as this guy doesn't kill me again at the exit. He almost did. Tried really hard. I spent a lot of time with family. That was nice. My family is pretty cool, actually. They're not too bad. So it's not like, oh, I have to spend Christmas or Thanksgiving with my family. This is terrible. It's actually kind of manageable. They're kind of cool. Uh, uh, it would have been nice to spend uh, Christmas with my girlfriend, but I got to spend Thanksgiving with her, so can't complain too much. Can't be too greedy. Lights are a little expensive. Okay, it's one missile hit. All these shots. This is great. This skip is so much fun. Because these levels are legit pretty hard. And then you do the skip and it, it makes them kind of manageable. Maybe next year? Yeah. Gotta make good decisions, unfortunately. We gotta be adults sometimes and decide that... We can't spend money on something we want to. I kind of went up for some reason by accident. If I had actually done that correctly, I wouldn't have lost a second, but... Alright. <laughs> Maybe this is the part of the run where you can kind of just chill and not pay too much attention. As long as you don't let too many people with missiles hit you, you're kind of fine, but... You kind of avoid most of them by accident anyways. I don't think that counts as a hit, technically. I think it moves you, but it doesn't count as damage. We'll just say it's four. What? Nah, you good. That's fair. Family, family is up and down. Unfortunately, I don't expect everyone to have the greatest experience with them. That's why I'm always like, whenever I tweet anything about Christmas, it's less about like, I hope you guys had a great Christmas with your family. It's like, what, whatever, you choose your own family, you know? Whoever you spend time with during Thanksgiving, not Thanksgiving, during Christmas is your family. Whoever are not the crazy people that make you sad. <laughs> Appreciate that guy just sitting there and just gently setting me on fire before running very far away. I don't think I want to get hit with any more missiles. I think I got hit by a bunch so far. That's unfortunate. That guy was about to shotgun me, but he didn't because I got set on fire. There you go. The only unfortunate thing about my Christmas was the computer parts that I was going to get that I thought would really help with a lot of the problems I was having with being able to stream certain games. Like I was going to have an SSD, you know, finally. Like, I haven't had an SSD in this computer. So, like, it's been kind of a long time coming. Um, yeah, neither of them... One wasn't compatible with my machine at all, so I'd have to get a different SSD. The other one, like... My computer, my mother, motherboard's just like possessed, and like I can't even put a new stick of RAM into it for some ungodly reason. 
Really? That didn't work? That's unfortunate because I also aggroed this guy too. He didn't hit me for some reason. Yeah, for, for some reason the computer upgrades I got didn't work, so I had to return it. And now I'm like, do I just wait and get a new build completely? I honestly think the best thing I can do right now is just wait. Save up some money and then just get a different build. Well, I get to PB at least. You wanna shoot me again? You wanna do it? Fight me? Fight you on the moon! Sorry, I just noticed the ape run straight towards the wall and do nothing. Why didn't the timer go off? Well. Hmm. Do I have to actually, like, go to the side of the... Oh, it's because I got stuck on the wall and it waits for you to go to the edge of the level to, uh... To count you as finished.